Hey guys, it's me, My Reborns, and I am back with another video. Today is Saturday, February 19th, and it's currently 2.41 p.m. And I do have Sweet Pea asleep here. Sweet Pea asleep is finally glossed. I'll bring him up closer so you guys can see. And I did go ahead and weigh him properly with glass beads, all of his limbs does have glass beads instead of just the polyfill. He has a, a sack of glass beads at his bottom and his head is weighted. He has another sack of glass beads inside of his head. Now, his price is still the same because you guys know, for me, I was thinking of ways to keep him a budget baby, thinking of ways to cut costs on him so that he can be cheaper for you all. And that was one of the things. I was like, oh, if I don't weigh him, he could be cheaper. Now his price is still the same. I did not charge extra for me weighting him properly with the glass beads. And I'll tell you guys why in just a second. Let me just bring him up and show you guys the glossing. And this is a size 0 to 3 month onesie. And you guys saw me put this on him. And when he wasn't weighted, the onesie fit him really good. And now that he is weighted, it's too small. So I have to say 3 months and uh, 3 to 6 will fit him. I just realized you guys are gonna be able to see like that hold on because i'm gonna have to focus you guys so i'm just gonna take you guys off of the tripod oh by the way we're just gonna do a simple changing video and i know i know i just changed him into this but he can't fit it anymore so and then i wanted to also tell you guys that he's glossed i don't think i'm gonna get it to show up on camera no you guys can't tell what about the mouth oh yeah you can tell Okay, so I gloss his mouth inside of his nose, his eyelids, and the inside of his ears. You guys can't really tell. I apologize for the horrible lighting and quality. But yes, everything is glossed. Let me put you guys back on the tripod. Alright, so the reason why I decided to weigh him and not charge for it is because he has a boo-boo that I did not notice when i was painting him i didn't paint with the ring light on and without the ring light even if the light is on the room is overall still pretty dark very dark without the ring light it's technically nighttime in here but um i don't know why i didn't paint with the ring light on but i didn't i started off painting with the ring light on and then as days went by i just didn't plug up the ring light and i didn't turn it on so there is a mishap one of his legs are darker than the other and you can actually tell on a camera. And it's not that bad in person, but yeah. This leg right here is darker than this leg and I guess the rest of the limbs. The rest of his limbs match. This one is just like one shade darker. It's like if he was went to like if he was to go outside with all long sleeve clothing on except for this leg right here. And it was hot outside and the sun was shining and he got a tan. That's what it would look like. So I'm a little bummed out about it because I did not notice it. And um, I just noticed it a few days ago. And I was like, okay, well, what can I do to just, you know, give back, you know, because he is a budget baby. And I was like, oh, I could just weigh him because, you know, a lot of people love their babies weighted. Um, and so, yeah, he's now officially weighted with glass beads properly, free of charge. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and change him. I hope he can fit this outfit. It's a size newborn. I don't know why I keep trying to squeeze these little clothing on him when they're not gonna fit. I'll have him look at you guys. Look at your friends and potential mom or dad. So this is the outfit Sharon Lee came to me wearing. It's so cute. It's a Disney baby. It's a very, very fluffy, mickey mouse shirt i have to put this back on chandler but it's still hot out here it's never gonna get cold but i wanted to put this on him oh and chandler has on mickey mouse too they can match i'll bring chandler the camera once i'm done changing him so they can sit side by side and then uh the matching pants and the mickey mouse socks and maybe some shoes i don't know hopefully this fit if it doesn't i have a backup outfit that's not as cute, but it'll work. 
Also, I did not cut his zip ties. As you guys can see, they're still on here. I'm going to do that a little later. I was getting frustrated with him, like, weighing him. Because I made a mess with the glass beads, like always. But his stomach, his body, I should say, I just feel like it's too big. So I took some stuffing out. Look how much stuffing I took out. And I still feel like his body is too big. Because he's really supposed to be a skinny, long, big baby. But, I don't know. You guys let me know down below what you think but yeah also his head is still on the strings which i will tell you guys why in a second so oh here are the stockings that i use these knee high stockings i use to put the glass beads in so they don't go everywhere and they're very secure in there um, but yeah his head is still on the string Instead of a zip tie because if anybody, whoever purchases him, if they want me to root hair on him or add a magnet or anything like that, I just don't want to put his head on a zip tie and then have to waste the zip tie by taking it off. So I decided to keep it on zip tie. I mean, keep it on the string until I, um, we're going to also want to change his diaper because that size one is too small. So we're going to put the size three on. But yeah, I decided to keep the string so that um, if needed, I could just pop his head off without having to waste the zip tie and uh, root the hair or add the magnet, you know, just trying to uh, save supplies. Yeah. I do have some hair here that I can use to root him. And if you do want him rooted with that hair, you won't have to pay for the hair just through rooting services. But if you don't want to use that hair, then you will have to provide hair for him. And of course, pay for that and the rooting service. So yeah, I also decided to do that. I wanted the extras for his leg. So if you want him rooted, you won't have to pay for the hair if you decide to use the hair that I already have here. Um, but if you don't want to use the hair that I have here, that's fine. You'll just have to provide that on your own. I don't think there's anything else I have to say. Don't forget, guys. Um, not many of you watch the video of all the babies I have for sale. In that video, I did say something. And it was at the end because it completely slipped my mind. Like, if you did watch it all the way until the end, I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot to say this. And it was, like, the most important thing. But Miss Lynn from Bella, My Bella Blessing, she said it perfectly in her video that there's always a reward at the end. She said that so, so perfectly. I couldn't have said it better. Watching until the end is always beneficial because if you don't, you might miss something. And a lot of you guys didn't watch that video or at all or until the end. And so you guys might not know this, but um, in that video, I have stated that if three out of the four babies that I have for sale, I said, I don't care which three, if they sell by May 1st, I will do the Reborn Baby Dow giveaway early. And that is a free giveaway right there. You don't have to pay to enter or anything. You can, um, I don't know what I was about to say. I just lost my train of thought. But yeah, you don't have to pay to enter the giveaway. It's completely free. So if I can get three out of the four babies sold. By May 1st, I will do the giveaway early. If not, then the giveaway still remains. I will still do one. It just won't be soon. But yeah, that's what I had said at the end of that video. So, like she said, you have to watch until the end because you might miss something. And a lot of you did. A lot of you did miss it. Alright, let's see. Is this going to fit? I think it just might. Chandler's so big, he stretches out all of his clothing, either, even the ones that are too small, even the newborn size clothing. And then so, like, I will go in trying to put, like, a newborn onesie on him, thinking it's going to fit, and it doesn't because he didn't already, he didn't stretch it out yet. Okay, I think this is going to fit. Sweet pea. Yes. Yay. He looks so warm and cozy, doesn't he, guys? Oh, look at you. Look at him. 
fit in a newborn outfit like it's three months. <laughs> I hope you guys could see. I hope I wasn't blocking. And I do have a hat, his little dark charcoal gray hat. I have that for him to wear over his bald head. Let's go ahead and put that on. Aww. So big, who big head stressed this hat out? All right, should we cover up the ears a little bit like this? I just don't want it to be super big on him. All right. There we go. So there's Sweet Pea, painted by me. I was going to put some shoes on him, but I'm not going to because the shoes are blue. And I probably do have some shoes to match. I just don't feel like finding them. And I didn't set them out, so. Here is Sweet Pea. And I weighted him so his head could flop. But of course, I can weigh him so that he can sit up in his head, if you would like. All right, this outfit is so, so cute. Oh my gosh. There he is in his Mickey outfit. This ring light wiping him out. Let me see if I can flip him this way. He's so heavy now, guys. He's so, so heavy. You guys know before, like I said, he wasn't weighted, so. He wasn't heavy at all because he didn't have any weight in him except for the bottom of his feet and his hands. But now he's so heavy. Look at him. So cute. Such a sleepy boy. Let me bring Chandler into the camera and then we're going to let you guys go. I don't want this video to be too long. That's why. Can you make room for your cousin? All right. And then he hits him in his face. <laughs> I know this is probably not the best looking situation right now. Okay. Poor Chandler. Poor Chandler. That's them in their cute little Mickey Mouse outfit. I totally forgot. Chandler had Mickey Mouse on. Okay. Your cousin's trying to hit you. He doesn't want you sitting next to him. Alright. Okay, so that was me changing Sweet Pea. He looks so cute in his outfit. I'm definitely not going to take this off of him. I'm not going to. It's so cute. Again, I hope I wasn't blocking. Let me take you guys down for the outro. For the outro. Yeah, it's that ring light. Let me see if I can turn it down. Okay, so I turned the ring down, the, the ring down. I turned the ring light down a little bit, but you still can't hardly see him. And his face is so washed out on camera, I don't know why. That's why I really like film, filming with my phone because it actually showed the color, but with my camera, it doesn't hardly ever show the correct color, which is so annoying. But here's Sweet Pea. He is a budget baby, and he does have that boo-boo with his leg being a little darker. But as you guys can see, he's wearing pants, so you can't even see his legs. And he's literally almost completely covered up except for his hands and then his adorable face. So if that's not a big deal for you, then yay. But um, I did want to inform everybody about that boo-boo on him. But that is pretty much it for this video. I do have an emoji on the screen. I haven't been doing this in a lot of the videos just because I've been forgetting. But I do have an emoji on the screen. What it does is it lets me know that you watched it all the way until here, which is pretty much the end of the video. So I thank you so much for watching and uh, you guys have a great day. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment. See guys, I'm off of it today. I usually have a routine for my intro and my outro. And then I just, sometimes on most videos, I just completely say the wrong thing. Or I forget to say something. I am on Instagram at my underscore reborns. 
if you guys want to give me a follow over there i am on rewards.com under melanated bay bays and i do have a membership if anybody wants to join you do have to be 18 and up according to youtube that's just youtube's rule and policy all right if you guys like this video give it a big thumbs up comment down below anything you want including video requests if you're not already subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button also ring that bell so you guys can always be notified when i post another video and i will talk to you guys later bye